Welcome to the Schoology Professional Learning Module Course Shells Part 2. During this video you will learn about the course landing page. We will be looking at the differences between the teacher view and student view on the course landing page and organizing your landing page. For those who need the visual transcript for this video, please find the link in the module resources. Once the presentation is published in Schoology, you will be able to access it there by clicking the hyperlink video transcript. Here are two screen grabs of the teacher view and the student view. As you can see, as a teacher, you have more tabs that you're able to use. I'm now going to take you into the Schoology platform so that we can go through these, the navigational panel. As we discussed before, your materials and your updates are the same. Instead of grades, you now see grade book. In the grade book, you will see all materials that are due, the due date, and then you will be able to see student names. You will be learning how to use the grade book in a future module. Under grade setup, each educator can see how grade setup is done. You can see categories and grading periods and final weights, but you are not able to modify any of that information. You will also be able to see the mastery level of each learning objective that you have in Schoology. As you learn how to create assignments, materials, and activities, you will learn about aligning them to the Virginia SOLs so that you are able to track how your students are doing. This is another place for you to look at student data. You will also learn how to create badges to provide for your students to help keep them engaged and interested in your blended learning platform, Schoology. You will still be able to see the members in your course, analytics shows you who has accessed your course and what was the last course material that they, they used. This is good for if a student says that they haven't been able to log on, you can see the last time they had success. You will learn about workload planning and power school in a later module. Here you can see your access code for your Schoology course. This can be updated year to year so that you can use the same course shell each time, just giving a new access code to make sure that you have the right students in your course. The next thing that we're going to look at is the course landing page organization structure. We are asking for each educator in PCPS to utilize the same foundational course organization across our division. So for our pre-kindergarten, kindergarten and first grade teachers, we would like for you to have these three folders in your course shell, which would be home family connection, learning resources and discussions. You may add to those folders and have additional folders, but we ask that you still maintain those three foundational folders. For our second through fifth grade educators, we are asking that you use this template to build your course shell. As you can see, it provides an introduction folder where you can house important information about your class, like class rules and the such, and then it's broken down by subject area. This will make it easier for your students and you, as well as parents, to navigate that course page. As I said for pre-K through first grade educators, you may add to this, but we ask that you do not take away. For our secondary teachers, we are asking you to organize your course by quarter. Since you teach one subject area, we felt that this would be easier for you to navigate and to organize so that you can add to and moderate additional sections. For administrators and central services personnel, we're asking that you use 
these folders in your course. This is for the immediate future, but can be modified as we continue to learn our Schoology platform. If you have any questions or need any support, please reach out to your moderator for your professional learning module course